Hello and welcome, I'm James. At some point, you might want to treat yourself to a fast, appreciating in value, modern classic GT car. There are quite a few to choose from, here's just a few. The BMW E46 M3. I saw prices for these depreciate to the lowest a couple of years ago to about five or six thousand pounds for one. Now they're slowly rising, but they're still affordable. It was only seven years ago I bought an E36 M3 Evo for £4,000. Now they're about £15,000 which is crazy, but there are still some E46s for about £10,000. This rear wheel drive M3 has a 3.2 straight 6 engine, 350 brake horsepower, 0-60 to in under 5 seconds with its 6 speed manual gearbox. You probably want to avoid the SMG semi-auto. Now the engine is the M3's strongest point, if you haven't driven one then you definitely should. Now it's been around since the year 2000 and it can still perform and compete with much newer cars. Now as far as looks go, it was gorgeous when it was released and the bottom line is it still is gorgeous. With cars like this, there's always things to look and check for so do your homework first. £15,000 will buy you a well sorted example. £10,000 will get you a higher mileage car, mainly convertibles, but there are still a few coupes for around £10,000. The Jaguar XKR. Based on the also very nice XK8, it replaced the tired looking XJS, which had been around for about three decades. Now this XKR looks very sleek and it oozes class and style. It's quick as well. It was released with a 370 brake horsepower 4 litre supercharged V8 which will do 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. It was later upgraded to a 4.2 V8 from the S-Type R, which gave it 400 brake horsepower. Comparing this to the XK8, this XKR has a much faster engine, the suspension was upgraded, which made it more agile and fun to drive. You get the nice bonnet vents, a small rear spoiler, and bigger wheels. This car is luxurious inside, there's lots of leather and wood. This Jag has a bit of a dad car image, but a lot of us buying these cars now are dads. So, who cares? I like this SKR. It was even featured in a Bond film, and prices now are not as low as they were a couple of years ago, but they're still very affordable. Like this SKR 4.2, 69,000 miles in black, 10,000 pounds. Or this 4.2 XKR, 110,000 miles in silver, 5,000 pounds. That's 400 brake horsepower for five grand. The Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. Released in the UK in about 1990, you could walk into a UK dealership and buy this three litre V6 Twin Turbo Nissan brand new. This rear wheel drive beauty had about 300 brake horsepower from the factory and a do 0 to 60 in just over five seconds thanks to its Garrett Twin Turbo chargers. But it can be tuned to have even more. It's one of Nissan's best looking cars, if not the best looking car they've ever made. Even Lamborghini copied the style. This Nissan has very sleek but muscular styling. It has lots of presence on the road, it's a big car. It has four seats, but there is a two seater short wheelbase one and a cabriolet. The three litre V6 naturally aspirated version is still a good choice, but ideally it's the twin turbo one that you should buy. There's lots of automatics about, but you should buy the manual gearbox. The interior is pretty comfy with everything you need including air conditioning and most have got the Targa style roof. Looking at these fair ladies online, turbos needing TLC, three to five thousand pounds. A good example of a non-turbo manual, six to eight thousand pounds. And a good condition twin turbo, prices start at nine to ten thousand pounds. Manuals will always command a higher price. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT, also known as the GTO, based on the HSX concept car. It was released in the early 90s to rival cars like the 300 ZX and the Subaru SVX. It's another good looking big 2 plus 2 GT car, it's heavy, it's long, there's lots of road presence. Released with a 3 litre V6 twin turbo engine, giving it around 300 brake horsepower, 0 to 60, just over 5 seconds. It wasn't just about the engine though, for a 90s car it's ran with technology like active aero spoilers, electronically controlled suspension, it has four wheel drive and it has four wheel steering like on the 300ZX. This 3000 GT is an exciting car to drive, it makes you feel good and the turbo kicks in nice and early. There is a non-turbo option, a 3 litre V6, which has 225 brake horsepower. 
They both come in automatic or manual transmissions. Manual is the one you want. There's three generations, the first being the best looking in my opinion with the pop-up headlights, then there's a generation two, and then gen three. Prices start at about five to six thousand pounds for a good example generation one and two turbo manual all the way up to £10,000 for mint examples like this generation 1 in red it looks absolutely gorgeous. The generation 3s are harder to find. The Maserati 3200 GT named in homage to the 3500 GT from the 1950s. It was the first Maserati built under the new owners and once rivals Ferrari designed by Giorgio, probably pronounced that wrong, who designed lots of cars like the DeLorean and Lotus Esprit. The 80s and 90s boxy Maserati image was dropped for this sleek, curvy, Italian exotic look and it has those now iconic rear boomerang lights. It's not all about the looks. Under the bonnet is a 3.2 V8 twin turbo. With 365 brake horsepower, it'll do 0 to 60 in just over 5 seconds. It's available in automatic or a 6 speed manual and it's rear wheel drive. The interior is what you'd expect from a high end manufacturer quality, very plush inside, and for a 2 plus 2 GT car, the rear room isn't too bad. Don't get too nervous about reliability, because it's a modern classic now, and all cars on this list need pampering and TLC, and the good news is, there's no depreciation now. It's a very desirable car, and it has a very desirable badge. <laughs> I found this 99 GT in silver, 57,000 miles for £10,000 and another with only 28,000 miles, full specialist Maserati history, £12,000. There are a lot of cars that could have gone on this list, but for now I'll leave it there. I might do another video in the future. Please like, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.